All right, guys, I got the Nanlite 15C out, and then we'll put it to red as if there's stoplights behind her. I got two of these cases. One of them has my red, the other one has my flash kit. So if I'm not doing video on a shoot, I'll leave the red at home and I throw this guy into the bag. And this has my Godox 8400 Pro. So we got a beautiful sunset. We're gonna get some looks with this last outfit. Just flip it around on you. And then after this, we're gonna go to town. We're gonna go to town first, but how are you gonna pass up the sunset? It's crazy. We might get kicked out though, we'll find out. We're not gonna get kicked out. The Godox 8400 Pro has its own like little mount and Glow makes a custom modifier for it. Though it's limiting because it's the only that fits on there. I would have to screw on the Bowens mount and that's just a lot of work. But this is pretty much my go-to modifier. And there it goes. I think we'll just keep it simple and, and do funky lighting. So guys, when you're shooting sunsets like this, it's actually a little bit blue, but it's like this mix of warm. The highlights on her face are very warm. And then the ambient blue from the sky is filling in everything else. So it's this beautiful, like complimentary color of warm and blues. And so when you're doing flash like this, if you just keep a bare bulb, it looks a little bit artificial. So you have to kind of try to match it. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing I hate about the Godox 8400 Pro, these only gels that are really out for it. Otherwise you could gel the whole thing, but that's like a nuisance. But I mean, watch how stupid this is. That went horribly. Okay. Let's take the modifier off. All right, guys, look. <laughs> you do this, and then you have to tuck this in, and then this thing always comes out. Wait, wait, wait. I think you're gonna start your own YouTube channel, right? Maybe. Would you guys watch her? It's either that or only. I'll cut that out. She does photography, and she models. If she starts one, I'll link it. Okay. You don't have to film this. No, I just need you to move. <laughs> I think this is it right here. It's quality content. Sure, that's what they call that. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna get test exposure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm hundredth of a second at 2.8 ISO 100. Y'all know what I'm doing here. Uh, and then now I can feather it on her even more. Oh! Yes, ma'am. I think I'm gonna brighten up everything a little bit though. Let's go 320 ISO, and let's lower the flash. Let's go brighten the flash. And we got a good exposure. That's enough that I can edit whatever I want because everything's safe. It's nice and bright. Give me a like, and then like angst face kind of shit. Yeah, not smiley, but like, pull your hair up in the air. I think each of these sandbags are rated at 25 pounds. So we got 75 pounds on here right now. So guys, as the sky's ambient light is dying down, the flash keeps looking too bright. So you have to make sure you're kind of pixel peeking or whatever they call it, chimping. Yeah, there we go. All right guys, so there's ambient light coming from her right. And so I don't want to fight that. I want to go with it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the center of it kind of angling down on her and I'm feathering it way off. That's a trick to get soft light. You don't want to just put it on her because it's just a lot of light. This will get it to be a little bit more natural. Let me get my settings. Oh, that's way too much. And I don't know how we're going to get my flash to dim down because it's already at its lowest. I could close down my aperture. Let's do F8. So that looks. Oh yeah. Guys, so I'm at a 60th of a second, F8 at 1600 ISO. Okay, I'm gonna get up close to do a Y. Let me show you. See you guys, you gotta show them sometimes so they can see. And after that, you guys saw she immediately started to hit that shit. I wonder if I get away. Let me turn on the modeling lamp, see if I do 5.6. That gel's kind of putting a green tint to it a little bit. Oh yeah, this is all we need. Let's go to F4, I'll speed up my shutter speed again. I'm at 80th of a second, ISO 1600. You see if it's directly on here, it looks super artificial. I mean, all of it looks pretty artificial, but once you start feathering it off, look at that. 
Now it looks way more soft. Granted, this modifier is only so big. All right, guys, I got the Nanlite 15C out and I have a power bank connected to it just to make my life easier. And then we'll put to red as if there's stoplights behind her. And then for the next shot, I'm gonna do mainly a red light on her. So the whole story should connect. Now it's barely kicking any light off. All right, guys, I got a tripod out. Just put the little Nanlite thing on. All right, guys. Oh, you motherfucker, bitch. My nail money is trying to put it up on the hard way. Uh, but step back a little bit more. But remember, pain. You're not giving pain. And keep your face this way towards the light almost. Go ahead. Chin up. It's supposed to be like, not smiley though, sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin, spin, keep spinning. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, you guys probably can't hear me, but the XC4 right out of space. I have a new memory card coming in today. This is our setup. So I just got the NAND light 15C. It's just on red. And we're gonna just get going. You notice you got that shiny thing on. 